My name is Chana Amarasekura. I am an assistant professor of urology at Northwestern Medicine um, and the director of the Gay and Bisexual Men's Urology Program. The incidence of prostate cancer in uh, men who are sexual minorities with HIV uh, is surprisingly lower than uh, that for men who are heterosexual. The incidence appears to be about 70% uh, of what it is for heterosexual men. There are, are a couple of theories as to why this might be. The first and, and most obvious, I think, is lower rates of screening for men with uh, HIV because they have uh, lower rates of healthcare utilization in some cases. The other speaks to a grim reality within the gay population, and that is um, in the 1980s, a lot of these men um, died from HIV. So there's a generation of gay men um, where a lot of their peers are missing. People who are in their 60s and 70s, they had a lot of their friends die from this disease. Um, so these men who, if they were alive, would potentially be diagnosed with prostate cancer, um, they passed away in the 1980s. So what we're finding is as gay men age um, and as HIV treatments get better and better and people are living a, a normal, healthy life um, and have normal life expectancies or life expectancies that, that are comparable to the rest of the population, we're finding the incidence of prostate cancer is going up solely because of you know, changes in treatment for, for HIV. There's no difference in terms of the guidelines for screening and diagnosis of uh, men with HIV when it comes to prostate cancer. The rates of screening appear to be a little bit lower in men with HIV. Um, again, not great data around this just because it's, there's not a lot of data collected in men who have HIV who are also sexual minorities when it comes to prostate cancer screening. There's a greater uh, cancer-specific mortality in HIV-positive men with prostate cancer compared to men who are HIV negative. The reasons for that are thought to be because of differences in access to care. So if you look at just those people that did get treatment, then there's no difference in cancer-specific mortality. But if you look at the populations overall, you see that um, people with HIV have a lower survival. And the reasons for that are potentially a lack of trust in the system, a lack of access to treatment. And even when um, HIV-positive patients do get treatment, uh, by and large, they appear to be going towards radiation as opposed to surgery, which a lot of heterosexual men or men without HIV uh, lean towards. The reason for this is unclear, uh, why people with HIV choose radiation so much more often than other groups. Um, but there's some thought that it potentially, it could have been a history of um, uh, providers feeling hesitant about operating on these men, um, so they've potentially been underserved for a very long time. One of the biggest things uh, and one of the, the, the great advances in modern medicine has been the, the advent of heart therapy for HIV, so people with HIV are living normal, long, healthy lives. So just screening these patients because they're, you know, once they get to 55, just discussing screening potentially with these patients, knowing that their life expectancy is just as good as anyone else's. Um, and detecting prostate cancer when it's appropriate and then, and then uh, directing them to the appropriate treatment.